<laughs> what's oh my god what's up everybody morning holy cow that was our boy andy simmons there pretty cool lyrics there, eh? andy i don't know if he's in there watching or not but uh he wrote us five songs that's a cool sunday morning waking up song little johnny cash sunday mor morning coming down my favorite sunday morning song but <laughs> what's cooking yeah so i usually don't go live on sundays but <clears throat> this is going to be one a little different. I usually, honestly, I usually, and this is the truth, I usually start watching the weather like at 6.30ish, 6 in the morning. <clears throat> and I'll read the maps and models and message boards and digest everything that's going on. And by 9.19, I have a really good sense of what's happening in the weather world. Uh, but I woke up at 9.01 today. So I have absolutely no clue what's going on in the weather world. We had softball at A. Seymour until 11. And then we went to Wing House and I think we drank him out of beer. After the fifth pitcher, Julie said, time to go. I didn't say that. <laughs> it was 1.30. 1.30. We kicked this out at 1.30. So. so anyway, hey Peggy, let me say hi to some people. What's up, Cliff? Yes, big thanks to ABC. Let's see what picture they got brewing today. ABC Fine Wine and Spirits. They're actually sponsoring my segment coming up on the Tom and Dan show. I just picked the first picture here. We'll just pull it up. Look at that quarter horse with a horse in the background and a, and a fence. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, big thanks to ABC Fine Wine and Spirits. We'll be on the Tom and Dan show, I think Wednesday. I don't know when it broadcasts, but it might be a... Uh, <clears throat> Lenny, we've got water spouts. What's up, Joey? Um, See, so yeah, I'll let everybody know. It's going to be fun. Hopefully, week weekly, talking weather. All right, so, hey, Lulu. Lulu, Lulu. <laughs> Wiki Wachi. Wiki Wachi's not a city anymore, right? <clears throat> hey, Casper, what's cooking? Happy Fourth. Dogs first. I don't know if I have one around me. Where are the dogs? Oh, man. Hunter, come here. Hunter, Hunter, come. Come here. Come here. Here he comes. He's flopping like a little bunny. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Little legs. Come here. Come here. He's all hyper today. Ready? One, two, three. Hunter. <laughs> he loves his daddy. He's awesome. How old is he now? 12 weeks tomorrow. There's our boy. There's Hunter. Say hi, Hunter. What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> I know. It's part of the day now. You got to do it just like Louie does. Daddy, I don't want to. Oh, we're going to take a nap. <laughs> He's pretty chill dog. It took Louie almost a year to, for me to let him lay down. This, this one's let me do it now. Look. We measured him last night. He's a dollar and a half long. I wish he cost a dollar and a half. I will right, show Louie in a little bit because he's on Sarah. So, so anyway, yeah, it's hot, Ed. <clears throat> Lineman talk, Jasmine. Yeah, look at this. So, um, our main website, kind of a different animal. We got the website, we got the Facebook. The website's everything. Everybody goes to the website. But Sparks, the only sponsor that I put on the top three columns here because they've been with me from the day one. But they're a big lineman company out of Alabama. So, big thanks to Sparks Energy for supporting. So, it's all right. We had a few fan shares yesterday. There's a, let's see, let's pull them up. <clears throat> so, we had Ashley here with the um, Jump Doggy shirt, koozie, and a Mike's beer. <laughs> it's happy fourth. And then we had this one. I'm not sure her name, but that was another Drunk Donkey uh Fan share is pretty cool. So, all right, let's talk about the weather. So, travel to Depression 5, nothing cooking yet, still not named. Right on the north side of Bermuda this morning, um, still expected to become named Edward. So, that could happen today, Edward. Um, it's just going off the sea. Dolly 2.0. We have another Dolly. Um, oh, cool. 
Bob Spinner's shirt came in. Jamie Lee, Rooney, cool. Thank you for that. Awesome. Yeah, that that's a fun shirt, man. So here we go. This is at, uh, you know, we got some links for this. It's kind of blobbish. Look at that. Still got a double pair of blobbish. Uh, not very healthy looking system, obviously. Uh, just passed by Bermuda, the main convection. See, my, they might have had a little wind and rate, wind, waves down there, but that's it. Not very exciting system, that's for sure. Um, there's that. So, you know, a little bit of spinning. You can see a little spinning going on right, right here. It's definitely getting pushed along by a shear. A little low-level spin, north side. You can see it. Fire, you know, thunderstorms are maintaining around it, so it, it it's got a shot, possibly of um, closing off that low. It looks like it has a closed low now. Let's see, you can kind of see it here. Yeah, see, could have a little close. So you know, it, it'll probably get named. Maybe there's there's a few signs of some closed isobars going around. So no big deal, really, unless. Unless you're a name chaser, I like to uh, keep up with names. Sometimes the old Winstat or Ask Cat. Let's see if we had a pass here. Maybe right here. Yeah. Yeah. See, there you go. Look at that. <clears throat> so, this is a cool little Winsight. This is a little more used by the big dogs, but you can see. You can see def definite spinach, so it's it, it'll probably be named. So there's that. <laughs> All right. So like I said, this 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 one is going to be extremely thinking out loud, and I'm already thinking out loud. I screwed up the links again. I got to get the correct. Uh, he showed me that, Matt. I hope you're not watching because I missed. I met. I missed this. Hey, Julie. Renee wants to know if we're going to breakfast. Softball. Softball talk. Softball Sunday. <laughs> so I have to fix that. But anyway, all right, there's that. There's that. All right. So what else is going on? All right. So Florida, southeast right now. Southeast rains. All right. So we still have this stalled, droopy front. Been the storyline all week. Here it is. We had this little vessel scale system pop down through uh, Louisiana. Talked about this yesterday. We saw it here and it slowly has worked its way into louisiana so that that was playing out we got another big blob that just came off that's been the story of the year for louisiana <clears throat> i see our miss nasa girl sheila wink wink um <clears throat> hey betty davis the comas i know where that's at so look at that. all this all this upper golf is happening right now all this is at the front Yesterday we showed down here we got the same little popcorn storms again down here coming in um, Florida the <laughs> Um All these are rolling from west to east just like yesterday same pattern all these little storms flowing <clears throat> west to east There you go <clears throat> We had a little one come through the softball field last night. Here's that other spinach. This is what we were showing yesterday It's funny that uh, we talked about it and then uh, we got a yellow circle out of it. So we'll talk about that one. That, that's probably the biggest thing to talk about. Uh, hey, oh, Ozzy, yeah, Irma's over my shoulder. And I've learned, I always screw up because I'm left, right. Uh, but I always like to pick Irma on the nose. How do I get my finger over there? Oh, here it is. Right there. Look, 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 look. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> So, uh, hey, Joey, yeah, we should have blob names. So so the funny thing is I, I saw um, Rick Nab yesterday talking about all these little little mid. So I joke on Twitter a lot. I make little one-liners because Twitter is a different group than Facebook. Um, hey, tell him we'll meet, meet him somewhere, but Emily's got to get ready. So it wouldn't be for a while, tell him. Yeah, I, it won't be for a while. Our girl's still sleeping. She got to. She got to. She got to sleep because she got to play softball today. Three game minimum. So, um, so anyway, on, on on my Tom and Dan show, I told you yesterday my frames are coming today. So I, I'm gonna not be a head. I'm gonna make my head the size of their heads. <laughs> so that means I'm a, I I got to frame the Irma picture is what I'm getting at. Right now it's just a Walgreens poster that I printed three by two, which is the greatest thing ever. If you ever need a. Uh, um, 
poster cheap they have discounts make sure you get the, the, the discount code they're usually 40 50 percent off but you can get a full that's what i did with the kids on their graduations so you know, like 10 15 bucks um so anyway so here's the, here's the storms got some heavy pockets of rain storm storm wise storm wise uh very little here in the south so that's storm prediction center nothing to worry about as far as any organized scary stuff that's actually tomorrow same as today though here's today today same thing so next few days nothing big storm wise to worry about that's good news long range uh map that i added i love this map day three to day seven a u.s hazards map mainly heat warnings a um, little bit of heavy rain seven six seven seven this is that developing low we're going to show here in a second but you know basically heat the heat thing is big because they're talking about 110 15 20 degrees here in middle u.s and all that heat extends out, obviously. So uh, next weekend could be really hot um, down into Florida, even 710. That would be for Friday. So, so def, def, whoops, definitely through the week here, um, good things are going to get hot. All right, so so here's our here's our new system. We talked about this yesterday a lot. Um, it's 30% this morning. I just posted it. Uh, slight development system. Now, the model's... Models are tricky. Some of them are just showing like a mid-level low land cane. That's a, another another word. Hey, uh, Shelly, yeah, we're on the E name. Um, Charleston might be getting wet, Linda. This is what we're going to talk about. We're going to have this low come up around you. It's in banana mode right now. It's a big banana. It's a perky little banana. <laughs> Not droopy. Um, but system is forecast to move... Uh, Kind of through the southeast, and then midweek, and we're going to see this possibility of low pressure developing. And uh, you long-term Mike's Weather Page followers know we talked about this. So score another victory. <laughs> we like to sniff these things out, and uh, we saw. Let's see what the wind map looks like. So a couple of people were talking about that yesterday too. This front's got a bunch of bunch of competing little lower level spinach spinners and uh this one looks like it might become dominated see there it is again so same spot as yesterday this whole general area right here so all this low is going to eventually come across and maybe try to form so let's look at the models overnight models let's look at um <clears throat> we'll, we'll start out with tropical tidbits gfs ain't showing much on last night's run it's been bouncing around a lot but we'll show it nonetheless um so during the week you know <clears throat> Very little, not all. You can see a little, little bump here. Never, never really does anything, obviously. So, yesterday, <clears throat> a little more organized right here. You can see it starting to develop right here off of the uh, North Carolina coast. You know, weak low pressure. So, that's been the GFS thinking, kind of off again, on again. There's a little bit again. Um, you know, it seems like every, every other run's a little more organized. The timing would be like Wednesday, Thursday ish, <clears throat> off the coast. So. Euro had one aggressive run. I forget which one it was now. Maybe right here. I don't know. That was this is this is Saturday, Sunday, next weekend. So again, timing. You know, Wednesday, Thursday, it it, it uh, starts to possibly becomes a little something something in the golf. So there's your GFS Euro, and then after after after, if it does anything, it's going to scoot on out of here. Kind of the same north northeast uh, motion Euro. There you go, kind of scooting along the coast. This is uh, Friday, Saturday, so day earlier. But you get the you get the timing this weekend ish. I like to say ish because then I can say I didn't really say Wednesday. I said Wednesday ish. What's wrong with you? <laughs> hey Alicia, um, <clears throat> nope. Florida's just got a little tropical rains the next couple days. I got my Louis cup. Wake it up with Louie. We haven't done that yet. So I have two cups. I'm going to have to wake. So what we'll have to do, I'll have to make another cup of Dusty if you're watching. We need a cup that says I need my Hunter in the morning. That way, <clears throat> depends on whoever um, decides to show up is who we have coffee with. <laughs> so here's a Euro. Mid-level spinach. Now, what's ironic, too, is that's, and I, if you watch all the time, I don't want to say the same stuff over and over again, but I do. Um but what happens over in Africa is what's happening here. We get these <clears throat> mid-level low-pressure systems tied to front fronts, basically, and they pop over Atlantic, and they 
they develop low pressures and become <clears throat> systems basically. A lot of it's tied into fronts and barclonic jib jab, but uh, bottom line, it's kind of like what we see in Africa. Um, storms coming off land, plopping over the Atlantic, and having a little shot to get going. The difference with this is back to the the, the NABS thing. These are just little teasers to the real s tropical season. So these, you know, this this is just giving us something to talk about. But in reality, it's nothing too concerning. So there's the latest Euro. Um, you know, Friday, Saturday could bring rains for sure. That's that's the biggest thing. Had somebody email me from the Bahamas wanting to. Um, sail upwards to the Carolinas and I luckily we saw this and told them to uh, be careful later in the week so their best shot would have to be before this develops so there's that one you know yesterday's Euro same thing you know so it's got a shot to be right off the coast it's gonna be a little more coastal hugger and so we'll go to CMC kind of the same thing a little quicker time frame Thursday Friday here so you know, and it's all stemming from that low right here that we just saw. This guy right here. All this is going to eventually pull out. So the the only aggressive model in this mix, which is probably there's another model here. So and remember, remember when the NHC has 30 percent, it's just that it's going to become a tropical depression. <clears throat> um. Hey, Amy, you are sailing on the coast right now, only if you send a picture of the water. <laughs> um, so seriously, uh, uh, <clears throat> we're going to have stormy, not stormy, but squally, rainy weather off and on the next couple days. Uh, Organizational-wise, low pressure-wise, as early as, you know, Tuesday night, maybe, Wednesday. Uh, we can start to see this thing start to try to develop off the Carolina coast. So as far as low pressure goes, which obviously um, increased the waves and winds, um, you're looking at more midweek, later in the week, this thing possibly developing uh, into something. So, so there, what is that? Huh? You're knocking? Jesus. Anyway, all right. Yep, Joey, we're going to be in the uh, uh, Greek Greek lake. It's Sunday day, Lawrence. <laughs> Good morning, Michael. How's it going? All right, let me show you. Uh, all right, so the UK. Oh, I went back to Ashley somehow. <laughs> all right, so the UK. Now, Ashley, when you get uh, all these calls and uh, start them now because you're on our live, you know, Kick back at least 10%, will you? So, um... <laughs> All right, let's, hey, let's look, let's look at rain now, just for fun, because uh, I didn't mean to click the HRR, but I did, so... All right, so let's look at rain today and tomorrow. So here's here's the deal today. Um, there's that low pressure kind of spinning. We showed that yesterday. You can really look at that. I'm going to make it really fast, but look at that sucker, man. That's pretty neat. So it's, it's technically a land cane over Louisiana, Mississippi right now, and a little bit of Bama. Look at that, rocking back and forth. I can make a, we can make a little meme like that. Like, hey, what's shaking? But all right, here's the rains. All right, this is today. Let me go back to the beginning. All right, so here's the rains today, Sunday. So you know, noon time. We got a little popcorn storms. We got the storms rolling in here, upper Gulf Coast. Popcorn storms along, you know, Georgia, Carolinas there, and they're gonna flow generally west to east. A little bit of northward movement. Big blow up again at four o'clock. We'll probably see the same setup here on the west coast of Florida. Things will be uh, winding down later in the day today. And then there's our storms pushing over to the east coast, 5 o'clock. So, so it's another east coast rainy day for Florida. All the west coast best shot is in the morning. And then tomorrow, kind of the same pattern. Morning rains on the west coast. Upper Gulf, anytime, any place. Um, yeah, so, the, you know, as far as the sailing question goes, your best days are going to be Monday, Tuesday, t today, tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. But then we got to watch that low pressure trying to set up. So let me show you the UK. UK is the most aggressive. Not to say it's correct or anything. It's just the most aggressive on development. And it shows 
you know, 994. This is next Friday. And just off the coast. But, you know, Gulfstream. What's up, Bill? Um, uh oh. Casper, who we got? Go. Trouble in the chat room? <laughs> hey, Bob. Hey, Clayton Hess. Uh, You've got mail. I got mail. AOL. Hey, Carol. Carol, thank you. Weather in Siesta Key? Let's take a look. Let's do our geography class. I know where Siesta Key is. That's close to my hometown. All right, so there's, there's the UK. All right. So, anyway. Again, Wednesday morning emerges off the coast, and then it has a, a window to try to develop. And, yeah, it's going to be close enough to the coast here that we, you know, we can definitely get some definitely get some wind and waves. Um we can, uh, let's see, they got this fixed. It wasn't working too good yesterday. Yeah, here's working now. So here, this one goes out 90 hours. So we're only going to be right at 90 hours. So, all right, so here's your boat. Here's your boater questions again. So here's, here, this is a good map. I'm glad I pulled it up. So here is, um, so here's basically overnight Tuesday, Wednesday hours. Okay. Tuesday, pretty calm. This is Tuesday afternoon. But then Wednesday morning, this is 7, 8 in the morning, you know, we can really start to see this is, and you can see the wind barbs coming in from the south, southwest, starting to curve up into the Carolina. So you can see the low pressure here starting to develop. This is Wednesday afternoon, so pay attention. Motor, see, see when I talk about storms, A, you learn. Hey, Aaron Jackson, stay indoors. They don't want you to have fun. <laughs> what do you mean? Air quality. There's no dust. So when you have a storm heading to Bermuda, it's not a fish storm because we have thousands of people that live in Bermuda and they all watch me. What's the population of Bermuda? What's the population of Bermuda? 63, almost 64,000 people live in Bermuda. So they do not approve of the word fish storm. And then when we have a system on, on the water, obviously, you know, we have boaters. So that's where I've learned to talk about everything. So anyway, all right, there's that. Uh, Brent, hey, what's up, Brent? Our original, I think he was one of our first Facebook supporters. The best deal on the planet, five bucks a month. I probably tip more money in food and drinks for the 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 month. Is I could have more. I could I could have a thousand supporters as much as I tip. Um. Let's see. Hey, Joey. No, I watch Levi's videos for sure. Um. Levi on Tropical Tidbits. Great guy. Red snapper season on the east coast of Florida. Well, nothing. Um, long range, let's take a look. I th you know, let's uh, <clears throat> let's look at the, I don't know. You know it's, I, I like to go, I think this, I think doing this QPF page daily is a good thing now because it's, some of the maps are deceiving. This is your one-day range. This is basically uh, Monday. This is Sunday to Monday right here. You can see the heaviest rains across the upper Gulf. Day two, there's that droopy low starting to set up. See that? So nothing here really Florida Peninsula. This is uh, Monday rains. And as our low starts to pull up, remember three or four days ago we were showing the, the Euro rains pulling up to the mountains? And, and now, now it makes sense. It was starting to sniff this mid-level low. And uh, we showed that map for the Carolinas. Um, but this is Tuesday rains. Florida looks really good. And then there, there's our uh, Wednesday to Thursday rains. There's our low. And day five, look at that. This is Thursday to Friday. So Florida, you know, nothing organized for Florida. It's just you got to be, you know, 
you got to be careful in Florida, obviously. You know, one, if you live and die by the, the weather forecast, you'll go insane because every day is 50%. It doesn't matter where, where uh, you know, where you live, it's going to be 50%. And that 50%, <laughs> it could fall on top of you and ruin everything, or it could be a, a mile north of you and uh, you don't get a drop. So it's kind of hard to... Uh, go off that the only thing i look at this this time of year like i told everybody yesterday um at the softball field our system's moving fast so we had a huge downpour but the systems are, have that west to east flow and, and you can see that when you go to like hrr like up top here on my site we have uh levi's link to the hrr and it's a great model because a it shows pretty much our whole viewing area this is a little bit of texas here but it's a great i like his uh cropping of the states here but if, if you just go it forward you can see the weather that's happening you know short range now this model is not always 100 percent. never yeah. i'll confirm things with other models but to get a general feel you knew the storms yesterday were west to east and they were going to be very spotty lots of sunshine in between we knew that the east coast was going to have rain and you know we're having the same setup again today and we see that spinach here so we're going to have you know, constant onflow of storms here for the upper Gulf Coast. And, you know, you can you can go back to GFS, kind of verify it. GFS a little more long range. Um, I like the Levi site for GFS also for long range rains because it also incorporates low pressure and high pressure. So you get a sense there. But as far as going in, in forward here, this is Tuesday morning. But, you know, a lot of people ask me about Florida the rest of the week, but there's really, you know, there's really nothing showing. This is up, this is up till the next weekend. So, you know, and, and look at this. See that big H? H. H is high, and uh, that's why we got heat coming back in next week, and that also helps dry things up. So, so the big story coming will be this little guy right here on the East Coast next week. So, so Florida folks. Um, things are not looking like a, 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 a very wet week, just hot week. So, all right. So we did the UK. Um, let's look at uh, a few ensembles. Long, long range, still not seeing much. Um, there is a wave coming off of Africa now that looks pretty healthy. It's sooner or later we're going to get one of these waves stick. The time is coming. The time is coming that we're going to start seeing these. Here it is right now, Weather Nerds. Look at that. So, you know. So you watch it. That's, that's the current wave. Come off pretty healthy. Kind of see where it's at. Just south Cape Verde Islands. Another map I like to look at long range is uh, the water vapor map on the Euro. It kind of lets you see things. That's where we saw Cristobal. A long ways out um, just kind of get a sense what the euros you know, this general area area here and we get to see it kind of truck across the ocean you know so timing for that wave lesser Antilles like end of the week so this general area here will be and look at there's our there's our big mid-level <laughs> Look at that sucker. It looks like a big wave. There, there's our east. So the wave off of Africa will be nearing our friends down in the islands this Friday, uh, end of the week. So could get a little juicy for you down that way. But here, look at that little guy right there. Look, this little sucker looks impressive. This is, um, uh, let's see here. This is, let's go back to U.S. Here, here's, uh, here's what we could be looking at end of the week. Look at that. Big old gnarly low pressure system <laughs> bringing lots of juice to the east coast pretty cool huh it is and here's another shot of what it might look like and let's go back to the tropics here real quick take a look at a simulated Simulated uh, water vapor loop here. So there's that wave. Just seeing your nothing, nothing really. So that African wave will end up hitting uh, 
Monday, Tuesday next week near into Yucatan. All right, so let's look at some ensembles, and I'll see what you guys are saying. Um, what's up, Donna Joe? What's up, Texas? Sharon, Texas. All righty, let's look at. So here, well, let's just do all. Let's just do everything. Let's do tropical Atlantic. All right. All right, so here's uh, obviously Tropical Depression 5. We got, this is, this, these are formation maps as far as development goes. Tropical Depression formation. But you can see the Euro definitely showing that development chance. High color, 70, 80, 90%. Um, we know that's coming. I was just looking farther down the road. And uh, nothing, nothing there that sticks out. We can look at the ensemble spaghetti. See long range really see it's it's little one here and there but nothing nothing really showing up yet so a lot of people ask about down the road there's just nothing no big signatures right now down the road so we have been talking about this for for a while though so that's pretty fascinating how that's happened so hey brian you missed all the fun man we had uh we had naked twister <laughs> virtual See, I don't. This is the cool thing about doing these chats. I've done so many of these chats now. So many. I think I've done eighty-four thousand two hundred ten. Um, I don't even have to look at what time it is. All I, I can tell what time it is is because I can tell by how cold my coffee has gotten. So I'm, I, I swear I'm. I haven't looked. I'm gonna guess. I would say, <laughs> with the coffin in the background, what? it would be nine forty-nine. Ah, oh, it's off by. Four minutes. Um, let's see. So we got a launch coming, Shelly. Cool. So yeah, weather looks great for a launch. I bet you it's a seventy percent go. Hey, Linda, Coastal Carolina. Have you heard? You might have a tropical system, Faye. Because they're they're probably going to name Ed Award. So the next one on the list is Faye, and we got a definite possibility of a little low pressure system. Kind of getting a little closer to you guys this week. Good possibility that maybe, you know, right here is the land cane. It all, it's all going to depend if, if it's over land or water. But it's going to be really close to you. This is Friday, 6 p.m., Big old blobby mess, but you know, it, you know, it could it could stay over land to be nothing. But the water seems to attract low pressures. And if that low is that close, you know, we got a big dominating high pressure here. So yeah, it's interesting. We we, we don't normally see all these storms popping off the coast. Um, that's a scary picture. I'm gonna post it. Um, oh, Trenton, yep, I was just kidding. We were, we were wearing our yoga pants. All right, who else is cooking? Uh, water's hot, Pat. Yes, it is. Warming up our anomaly map. I haven't looked at it in a while, but I'm sure it's back to normal. It's getting there. So remember how cold the Gulf was? It's almost back to normal. Here's the Atlantic. This is what everybody's talking about. You know, warmer Atlantic. Still too early in the season for that, but um, overall... The uh, waters, the, you know, this is your anomaly map. This is just based on averages, but anything above white as far as yellow and oranges and reds is higher than normal temperatures. So we're, you know, we're two, three, four degrees Celsius above normal here across the main development region. So that definitely helps spark uh, thunderstorm activity. And our MJO toward the end of the month will be back on cycle. This is why we're getting a lot of these storms popping up here nothing organized but we're in a positive mjo right now july 4th weekend kind of neutral positive but we're not in a uh, sinking air pattern which would be coming up for a couple weeks so then we're right back to green again towards uh 20th 20th july so you know it could be a little break week or so but this is when you know this is when the, this is when peak season starts happening with these waves we'll definitely start seeing more and more um you know, it's very typical to be 
slow in July, very typical. Um, not, not very many storms. This is your pattern for July. But when we get into August, we start to see more more stuff start to brew down here. These are waves, African tropical waves. And you can always see them cool on the surface map here, like right here. Uh-oh. That's my sign. Close windows. I have a 48 window open max. <laughs> Lots of windows. All right, so now we're now to work. All right, so here's your waves. So, you know, this we'll just, this is a 48-hour map. This is uh, Tuesday. But look, wave, 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 wave. So, so that's that. Um, a little purple, little purple map here showing the wave development. That's that wave we're seeing now. Yeah, so, you know, you just, just kind, of, kind of watching. The CMC showing a little, little wave there. But, anyway, all right. Hey, 28 Lowe's Chevrolet. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson, NASCAR, uh, not driving this week because he's got Corona. That's going to shake up the sports world, Brian. Um, hey, Brandon, when is the switch flip? You talking about the tropics? Well, typically, you know, we just have a lot of upper level winds right now that brew through these um, Caribbean, and they usually meet these waves and, you know, tear them apart. These winds start to die down middle ju July. Thus, these waves have more of a chance to maintain their spinach. Here's that healthy wave coming off Africa. But so yeah, there's a juicy wave. You know, nothing, nothing really organized. But yeah, there's really not a lot of upper level winds right now. Per se, yeah, see it's a little different pattern. Usually they come across Pacific, but you can still see them. They're still. 30, 40 knots right there, but it's not too bad actually. The, the shear's relaxing, but this 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 area is typically really heavy shear early in the season. A lot a lot of so three factors. Obviously, the water is a little warmer than normal. So usually early season water is not that warm yet. We usually get a lot of dust uh, storms, which obviously we can see here on the Fox. Um, just lots of dust. Now this is not really. It's kind of overdone in my opinion but it makes it look like there's a lot of dust out there maybe there is i don't know <laughs> oh actually we can look at a true color one this is satellite that one's not that good i like this one better well you can't it's, it's not that bad that map really makes it look like it's worse than it really is here's the original original dust map um and where we're at right now So here we are right now. Here's that here's that wave coming off Africa. Pretty healthy looking. Dust to the north. Dust dry air. But you know, this is this is it is not it's not as bad as it looks. And you know, cool map here we can do on weather models. Is uh, hey, hey, that's Renee, Julie. Okay. Um, is this map, and we can see current prediction you know when we were looking at this big plume a couple weeks ago it was it was it was or a week ago it was bright yellows and oranges and uh now you know nothing 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 huge coming so no big dust in the news just normal light lighter stuff i mean it's still there it's still still but nothing like it was it was it was record breaking off the charts Mars, sandstorm, mummy, zombie, acropolis thing. So, <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Wave trains. Robert, correct. We'll start getting wave trains. Um, hey, Brandon, you posted. Yeah, let's take a look at some supporter posts. I, I mean to do that a lot more. I need to get my header back too. I guess it's not the fourth anymore. Had some fireworks last night. I'll show you. 
All right, so where's my support? I can never even find the post. Here we go, post. So let's let that load. Uh, hey, Thomas, thanks for the stars. Hey, Cindy, morning. All right, post. Post it. Post. Post. There we go. There you, there you are, Brandon. Let's take a look. You got a video. Ah, there you go. Check it out. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Where, were you, where was that at? I didn't read, read it to you. Um, wow, look at that. That's cool. So thanks for that sh share. Let me make sure I like it. I always love dark, ominous clouds over palm trees and water. Look at that. That is beautiful. Man, there's some lightning going on. That is pretty ominous. Look at that. Where is that at? Is that the East Coast? Titusville. Yep, that was the East Coast. All right. Holy cow, there's another one. Jeez, look at that. Oh, my God. Sailor Sean, are you in there? Look at that. Picture of the year, man. Holy moly. Look at that. Two water spouts and a lightning bolt. That has got to be... One of the coolest things. Who the hell is that calling? What? What the hell? Sunday morning. How do you know that number? <laughs> well, I'm going to share that one, man. I saw two water spouts. God, look at that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's so awesome. All right. Hey, look at that. What do we got here? This is for a week or so. Happy 5th of July. Hey, that's good. What's up? Oh, yeah, you got the um, statue. I was looking at the, the dude and the dudette. I didn't see the statue dudette. Cool. <laughs> Happy 4th. Um, that's funny. My wife ran away with my best friend Mike yesterday. Since when is Mike your best friend? Since yesterday. <laughs> that's cute. Hey, Ken Nolan, Tornado... I have to take a look. I missed that. Um, oh, we got another drunk donkey share. Oh, I got your blob shirt. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Candy. Pirate Beach Report. Arr, that's a true fan there. Damn, I got all the stuff to post. When am I going to have time? There's old school tracking map. Diana. That's neat. Throw some spaghetti on it. Um, hey, Philippe, correct high. This is a question on my list. So, Philippe asking where the best place for high and low tide. I, I, I got a cool one on my site on the very bottom left here. Um, so I have NOAA Marine Forecast by Region. I have U.S. Coastal Tide Charts and Tides for Fishing. Both of these are great sites. Um, just type in your zip. This is actually Noah, and you can get what the hell? Where's that at? I didn't. Oh, there's Oldsmar. So there's that. Then you got different places you can click. St. Pete. Um, so anyway, I don't even know if you're watching, but if you are, I got those two links. <laughs> All right, we'll look at one more thing. Here's uh, somebody asking long range. Thursday. Yep, that'll fizzle. Some bad weather here in Sebastian. Brenda. For sure. So the East Coast, that was 15 hours ago. Oh, yeah. So, that, yeah, that was the same one from Titusville area. So, big storms. And, and you know what? The same pattern as today. So, there's that. All right. Cool beans. Tide for Fishing is the one you use, Aaron? Yeah. I got. The, do I have that one on there? Tides for Fishing. Yep, there it is. Tides for Fishing. It's a really good one. Same one. You click North America, U.S. down the bottom here, and then you click your... State. The thing that was tricky with this one, though, is you got Florida East Coast, but then you have Gulf Coast. So you kind of have to play around where, you, where you're at. But it's a good one. So, Brian, yeah, I love my bacon crispy. So what we do when we go camping is uh, I cook bacon out on the grill, and I let it fry. Hey, Hannah, what are you looking for? I'm right here. 
<laughs> hey, Joseph, Babylon, Long Island. Wow, where's that at? Let's do our geography class. Oh, you're going to do Siesta Key, somebody asked me to. Um, is that New York? I assume. There it is. So we have Joseph all the way from New York. Look at that. Right there. So he is checking us out all the way up there. And there there's I am. So you might have a little tropical. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get a little tropical feel feel maybe early part of next week, following week, not next week, following. Week. We'll see how close it goes, but it can definitely affect your weather. Uh, maybe early Monday Tuesday. So. Um. There you go, Jake. Another New Yorker. What's cooking? New York City. All right. So there's that. I think we're good. I got a lot of stuff to post for softball. So I did a. Th I got to show you. I got to brag. So last night, let me, let me go. Let me find out where my wife's page is. Julie. Julie. Did she post it? She posted the video. Oh, there they are. Oh, the video. The video. Hey, wow, Julie. You sucker. I got the download of one, though. There's Emily, though. Check it out. That's her best friend, Nessa. They took some pictures last night. Look at that. They, they, they've been playing softball since seven years old. Now they're 14. Isn't that crazy? Man. They're best friends. What memories we've had. That's for sure. All right. So let me find what I hope will play. Yep. All right, cool. Check this out. All right, it'll play. All right, let me, let me tell you the story behind this. All right. So we'll end it with this. Let me get my chat back on so I can see where everybody talking about. Uh, I have somebody famous in my chat, Joey. Cool. That's probably because it's the only coolest chat on Sunday morning, right? We had 44,000 people during Dorian last year, man. That was more than ever pretty neato um so hey the found one of the founders of facebook is on here ed if you are thank you very much hey, facebook has is is my success story if it wasn't for facebook i love it it's used in a very positive way and actually the coolest story ever ed <laughs> this is true listen two seconds so my daughter, who has Down syndrome, is a huge Darcy Lynn fan, and she was coming to the Strawberry Festival. So I, one day I put a post out there. I said, hey, if any of you fans out there have a connection for Sarah to get like a meet and greet or tickets, front row, next thing you know, bam, 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 bam. Next thing you know, uh, the, head, the head honcho of the Strawberry Festival messaged me and hooked us up. We got to meet Darcy Lynn, sit in the front row, and she talks about this every day about that show. In fact, YouTube, there's a video of, of us that somebody posted the whole show and you can see us. And she always finds it. So that was used in a very powerful, positive way. I was always thought that was cool. So anyway, all right. So here's a cool story. So all right. So the last four years we've been at Daytona Beach for NASCAR. That's done. So last night the girls played softball, and uh, so I was like a little kid at Christmas. So I, I, I bought fireworks for the kids, you know, and um, I wanted the girls to have some normalcy on July 4th because it was late. We had a rain delay. So it was 1030 at night, and I, I set up behind the home. I, I, I got I downloaded it. So I, I set up behind uh, center field. And waited till the game was over. And as soon as, as soon as the umpire called the game, I, I set the fireworks. I listen, the girls. That was me. I haven't seen it yet. They were excited. <laughs> so if you were at Clearwater last night at 11 o'clock, that was me. Cool, man. <laughs> that was neat. So, 
So that was fun. So there we go. All right. Well, be good, y'all. I'm, I'm glad I logged on. Say hi, everybody. Uh, I got to post some weather. Hey, Jonathan English. You haven't been on here to help me out with words. <laughs> I, I gotta go, man. I got uh, a lot of posting to do. We got a lot of weather to talk. So, y'all be great. Thank you so much. I, I could stay in chat all day, but we'll be live tomorrow, nine nineteen, as always. We'll talk about the weather. We'll be watching this tropical possibility off the east coast. So, have a great Sunday out there. Eat a lot of crispy bacon. <laughs> See you.